Hey, what is up? Dalton from MSI here, and this monitor that I have here is the Creator PS321QR. It's a 32 inch, 2560 by 1440 resolution flat IPS display with coverage of 99% of sRGB and Adobe RGB, 95% of DCI-P3, a 165Hz refresh rate, and a one millisecond response time. And um, overall, this monitor here was designed for people who need color accuracy. Part of this build, this project that we have here today was um, to really showcase the monitor itself without modifying it. It's a very sleek and beautifully designed monitor. The concept for this project was to build a river edge table out of, you know, using epoxy resin. However, uh, it requires a lot of tools, a lot of woodworking experience. So this is where DC actually came in and built everything. Well, yeah, my name is DC Chavez. Uh, normally when the world isn't struck by COVID, I'm a commercial director, do a lot of automotive advertising type stuff. Uh, but when this whole thing hit, I went out into the garage and tried to learn something new and started doing some woodworking. With anything, it's kind of getting everyone on the same page of what you're looking for, whether it's you know walnut or whatever type of wood you want to use, right. and then going to the place to buy these things, um, finding something that has some really cool figure, a lot of design elements in there that are naturally from, from nature. You could get a basic piece of wood or you can get something with a lot more character. So handpicked this and then from there, brought it into the shop and uh, planed it flat with a big belt sander from a friend, um, Wooden Imaginations in, in Torrance, it helps out. From there, cutting it in half, you build a mold around the, the wood because the epoxy itself is basically just water. Um, it's a really thin consistency. So doing that, mixing in the colors, getting it all together, pouring the epoxy, and then you sit and wait. Um, because if you just pour it and you just let it sit there, all of the pigment that's in there will just settle down to the bottom. So you have to come back 12, 16 hours in and kind of like agitate it and start to give that river flow. And then once that's done, you let it sit for three days and fully cure. The super clear epoxy, you don't get any bubbles out of it because it takes a long time for it to cure. And then from there, you have a big layer of epoxy on the bottom of it and on the edges. So uh, went back to Wood Imagination and uh, had Mike run it through the machine. Huge expensive sander. It saved me probably weeks of sanding this by hand. So thanks, Mike. Um, and with that, then brought it back and just did all the, the final, um, all the final touch-ups of things, rounding the corners, chamfering the bottom edge, doing the final sand on it, polishing this, um, and then we incorporated some cool technology, which I'm sure will let you kind of get into what's in here. So part of the table that we wanted to make was to have accessories that anybody could use. So first off was an everyday carry section uh, on the monitor stand. So if you have like your wallet, keys, wireless earbuds, you could just toss it there and not lose them. We wanted to have the tabletop mounted on standing desk legs. Standing desks are like all the rage right now. And we have two wireless Qi chargers built in on either side. Uh, one's underneath the MSI Dragon logo and the other one has a lightning bolt underneath it. So uh, for a quick, easy charge for your mobile phones, most smartphones have wireless built in nowadays anyways. And to go on that, this is a really interesting thing because you have to get this one and a half inch thick piece of wood and mill it down to about an eighth of an inch thick so that the charger will still work through it. So it's a seamless transition of, you, know, there's, there's, you can't see it from the top, but only once you set your phone down on there does it actually activate and start charging. So that was a scary but fun <laughs> part of this process. <laughs> All in, I mean, from start to finish, this project was about two weeks long, but that also includes a time of where you're waiting for a couple days for the epoxy to, to cure. Um, doing some testing to get this color to match some of the color schemes you guys have. There was a little bit of testing and some things I've never done before on this, so, um, but I mean, even just milling out that EDC tray was a pretty good chunk of time. Um, so all in about two weeks, but if I didn't, if I was just going straight on it, probably could have gotten done a little bit over a week. Yeah, no, I mean, this one was interesting because this metal flake that's in this stuff, it's, it's a mica powder that you put in, so it's like part pearl. There's four different colors that, that are in there, and so basically when you when you do that, you mix it all up in the, in the bucket and it looks a certain way, and then you pour it, and then as time goes on, it kind of evolves and it changes. Like, as it starts to heat up and cool, because epoxy heats as it's, as it's starting to, to set up, so as it's heating, um, it will actually create these like convection kind of currents where it'll pull the epoxy and it'll pull this metal flake a certain way. So you look at it an hour after you poured it and it looks a certain way. You come back four hours later, it looks completely different. So that's what we have to go through and start to actually draw the designs. And like I said, between 12 and 16 hours is when it starts to get like honey. And at that point, that's when you can really start to put the designs in there, but don't over agitate it or it'll create bubbles. So 
it's walking a fine line and playing with that element was the most tricky part of it, but yeah. So for this monitor stand, one of the cool things about this was that I work a lot in automotive and racing, and so I have a lot of friends who are, who are in the world, and um, Stefan Papadakis, he runs the Rockstar um, Energy Drink uh, Drift Team. Right. One day I called him up and said, hey, I'm making this, uh, this computer monitor stand, and I need some help. So he turned these, these legs for me uh, to, to my dimensions and sizes on, on the lathe, and so you'll see some of the footage of that. But um, thanks again, Stefan, for your help, appreciate it. And uh, it turned out really cool. Very subtle, very chill, and matches with uh, these legs down here as well, so. So this is just a, a piece of black walnut um, that we started off at about an inch and three quarters thick, and then over time as we flattened it and then put the epoxy and everything in it, and then it flattened it again, um, it ended up being about just an over an inch and a half thick, so. Um, solid black walnut, uh, except for in this section, which is a little bit thinner. Um, and then, yeah, just some really cool Rubio mono coat is what we finished it, a single coat of the finish that goes on. It's a hard wax. So you do a light sanding on it down to 120, put the stuff on there, wipe it on, buff it in, and then it's done. So not going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And it even looks good in the epoxy too. So it was a lot of fun to work on and happy to see it done and delivered and <laughs> out of my shop. <laughs>